Say hi. No. <laughs> To prep my skin, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover. I've fallen in love with this stuff. All of the claims that you heard me talk about are true. I've fallen in love with this. It leaves my skin so smooth and it almost allows my skin to breathe underneath my foundation. I know that kind of sounds crazy, but that's what it does. I'm going to be using my Revlon Colorstay. This is in the shade 110 Ivory. You guys know I love this foundation. It's one of the best that are out there. I'm going to take some of that. And for this, I'm going to be using my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. My NYX HD Concealer in the shade Porcelain. It's going underneath my eyes, on the sides of my nose. Down the bridge of my nose and on my chin. And to set my whole face, including my under eyes, I'm using the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. And this is in the shade Fair. This is just giving me a little bit of extra coverage on top of the Revlon Colorstay. I'm going out, so I need a little bit of coverage. And for a little bit of color on my skin, I'm using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil in the shade Light Medium. And I'm just going to be using it on my favorite tweezer man brush. This is a matte bronzer. It smells so good. Oh yeah, look at that color. That's nice. NYX Baked Blush in Journey. That's what's going on my cheeks. Nothing else. Nothing else will change for quite a while, I think. I'm going to be applying a little bit of the Urban Decay Primer Potion like really the smallest amount just so there's a little bit of something on there but nothing too crazy I'm doing my good old tape trick I'll put it right on the outside of my eye there. now from the Too Faced semi sweet chocolate bar palette I'm going to be taking peanut butter which is this perfect shade on a really big fluffy brush. I'm just gonna get it in there. And this, oh, make sure that primer is all blended in. And this is going right into the crease. All the way in here. I just realized I didn't do my brows and I cannot do my makeup unless I do my brows. So I'm using the Too Faced Bulletproof Brows. It looks like this. It's kind of, what is it, like a cashmere kind of gel clay kind of thing. Comes with a little brush, so I'm going to be using this. This is in the shade Universal Brunette. Alright, there we go. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so nice. I have to look back into my phone. This is the makeup I'm trying to recreate, which I'm going to do a good job for you guys today. So I have a flat shader brush here, uh, like a really short one, and I'm going to be going to the shade Licorice. And this black is super, super pigmented, so be careful. What I'm going to do with this is place this right here. Oh, look at that. And right here. Okay, and then I'm going to place it right here not on my eyelid necessarily but past my eyelid right here bring it up bring it up now that we look like tiger tiger ice cream we're gonna do some blending and i have this brush it's by crown it's almost like the mac 217 i've just dipped that in a little bit of peanut butter and we're just going to go to town and blend this out i've dipped it in peanut butter first because i don't want to be blending it with black because then it's just going to be way too black so I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. I 
Now once that's a little bit smoked out, I'm going to go back in with licorice on this blending brush and then kind of, you know, build on top of that. Ooh, my eyes watering. Why? Why? Back into this old pal of mine. I love this brush. It's honestly my favorite brush. This is the C441 Pro Crease Blending Brush by Crab Brush. Oh my god, this eye's really watering. Ugh. Just dragging that black over a little bit more. Because I'm, you know, I'm a little wild. Next, with this is optional, completely optional, um, I'm going to be using the NYX eyeshadow primer in white. So I'm just going to put that right in the center of my eyeball. Nothing perfect, just placing it. I'm doing it very lightly too, I do not want it to be heavy because this stuff will crease if it's too heavy. And now for my favorite part, I'm going to use a blueberry swirl. Look at this color. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm actually gonna use a brush though. I'm just using, this is just an angled flat shader brush. Oh god, yes. Look at that. Oh lord. Once that's on, whatever is left on this little domed brush here, I'm just gonna kind of reinforce that black. Just so it transitions nicely here. And if you need to lay a little bit of more black down in the corner here, feel free. One last time with peanut butter on this brush. Now it's time for eyeliner. I'm using the same little pen that I've just fallen in love with. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. In this photo, I did have quite a bit of black underneath my eye, um, so I guess I'm just gonna redo that for you guys as well. I'm first gonna take some peanut butter, oh yes, oh yes, and just on a domed brush here, I'm gonna rub that right underneath my eye. And I'm gonna bring this down pretty low. Make my eyes look a little bit bigger. And I actually have an angle brush right here, so I'm gonna dip that into licorice and place that right into my lash line really close my brow bone highlight is going to be coconut cream sticking that right up there and just blending that into that peanut butter peanut butter oh this thing smells so good i'm going to use pink sugar now when you swatch this color on your fingers it comes out like that so it's not anything you know too crazy but what you can do with this is put it on other colors to make it look wet so i'm going to place a little bit on the center of my eyelid and it's going to give the appearance of looking wet and especially if you wet this eyeshadow it makes it look insane so i place a little bit on there and it just gives it a little bit more dimension i never suggest putting your fingers into eyeshadows a lot of people do when they swatch them but it actually changes the consistency of it so just be aware of that i'm just going to place this This is applied wet on my finger. So I'm just doing it a whole bunch of different ways so you guys can see. There you go. I curled my lashes and I'm going to put on a little bit of mascara. Just so I don't have to wreck my new pair of lashes. These are the lashes I'm applying. They're the Ardell Lacies, and I'm using my Salon Perfect Glue. This is my favorite glue. It's just, it dries so nicely, and oh, it's just my favorite.
In the original Instagram post, I did put Milk, the Jumbo Pencil by NYX, in my waterline, but I think a dark pencil in there would look nice. Ugh, as my eye just begins to water. This is the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. What color is this in? Stingray. I think it's like a gray tone. Or is it black? Yeah, it's like black. Whoa, that got real crazy real fast. Eyes are done and I'm going to be applying a little bit of Mary Luminizer. Oh my gosh, still. I just need to fix it so badly, but I just never do. And I do think Melted Villain is super pretty. Oh my gosh, I have to swatch this for you guys. Look at this. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I do think that looks really, really beautiful. But I'm going to go for a nude just because, you know, a lot of people like a dark eye with a nude lip. Well, this is like as nude as it's going to get for me. It's like actually a pink. This is Melted Peony. I'll do a little swatch for you right there. Oh, that's what's going to go on my lips. It kind of looks nice with the little pink sparkles that are on top of there. Peonies are my second favorite flower. Hydrangeas are my first. I couldn't find baby, so it's just gonna be Gunther that's in this video. Hey, say hello, say hi. Oh, <laughs> I love you so much. Say hello. What's on this stick? <laughs> Alright guys, that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. A ton of you were requesting this, so thought I'd bring you it. I hope one of you guys, or some of you guys, a lot of you guys, do some sort of version of it because the first thing I said when I got this palette, I was like, oh dang, oh dang, that is just, are you kidding me? I really want to get into these golds and peaches right here too. I think that would be so beautiful. And this color, oh my gosh, like, are you kidding me? Yes. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next one. Oh my god, do you see this? Oh my god. Oh my god. I almost let you guys go with a little water blob on my eyeball. Oh my god. I didn't even see that. Oops, sorry. Okay, baby wins. Yes, you do. Do you like my lipstick color? I think she does. Yes, she does. Yes. <laughs> Well, I just got latex on this brush. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh my god, oh my god, no. Oh, oh no. So in this photo, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but I did, all right, for the moment of truth, this eye will not stop watering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's just like pure tear. Then I actually have an angle brush right on here, so I'm gonna dip that in there. Oh, what's this in? Oh my god, are they still on? Okay.